bad that those things went out yesterday. They're not supposed to be out until March 3. Okay, Lord. <laughs> because if people get them too far in advance, they tend to forget them. And they're not, they're supposed to be delivered somewhere between the 3rd and the 5th. Said so right on the brochure when delivery date is. But the Lord doesn't need things anyway. And uh, I would really invite you guys to pick up a couple of those and share them with some friends. They may have gotten them in the mail, they may not But it takes quite a few invitations to get through with some of our guests. Oh, one other thing about that. You guys know what this is, right? Bible concordance. One of the most necessary tools, either by computer or book form, that you have for Bible study. We're giving these away to people who come seven out of nine of the presentations. I've got a whole big stack of them. And also inside of it, there are Bible commentaries, the Strong's Concordance, and all the rest on a CD ROM. And it's made to go in either a Palm Pilot or a PC. And you can just tell people, we're serious about Bible study, we're trying to give away tools to help people study, if they agree with us or not. We want people to study. So, let's be listening to the Spirit. Let's not quench the Spirit. Let's be careful that we don't ignore God's working in our lives or the lives of somebody around us. But we do have to be careful because Satan is definitely deceiver. Let's take a look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 14 and 15. 2 Corinthians Chapter 11, verses 14 and 15. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their work. Uh-oh. How do you know if I am on God's side or Satan's side? I claim to be on God's side. Is that enough? No. It's not enough. According to this, it's no wonder if Satan's ministers claim to be on God's side. Because Satan does. He's a liar. You've got to go back to God's word, the truth. And if you love the truth, you can avoid deception according to what we saw in 2 Thessalonians. If you don't love God's truth, if you don't live your life according to what's written in His Word, the truth, you will be deceived at that. And you know, it's really easy to get on that track where we start saying, well, God didn't really mean, and we take one verse that we don't like because we want to do something and that verse kind of counters what we want to do, and we kind of fly that God doesn't really mean that one. And God doesn't really mean this one over here. And God does and pretty soon we really, really got out there on our own without God's word. And that's Satan's plan to get us to ignore God's word. We've got to love every part of it, even the parts that we don't like. And we've got to follow it. Well, the Bible says that if we get closer to the end, that Satan will get even worse in his deception. We're warned that this man of sin or the man of lawlessness will use counterfeit signs and miracles. Let's go to Revelation 13, verses 13 and 15. Revelation 13, 13 and 15. Okay, we're going to read that one. <coughs> now, let's just get one chapter up. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who is wounded by the sword and live. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many who would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. 
And he sees us with great signs, even making fire come down from heaven. Thessalonians talks about these miracles. Now, what kind of fire do you think we might be looking at? Are we talking about some weapon that deceives people? I heard some say, oh, it's talking about nuclear weapons in the last days. Nuclear weapons may destroy people, but they don't deceive people very well. This is about deception. Think 